Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I am sharing some unique ways to repurpose those old or thrifted frames. For this first project, I wanted to make a layered frame, but I didn't want it to be permanent because as you all know, I love to change out my art and my decor. So I picked up this 12 by 12 frame that had some little art pieces in it. And then I picked up this four by six frame. I took apart the 12 by 12 frame and removed everything from inside. Then I'm also gonna be using this basswood from Amazon. Amazon. I have this link below for you. It comes in a pack of eight, I believe, of these 12 by 12 pieces. And I'm going to use this for the backing on this 12 by 12 frame, which fit perfectly. So I'm just using some Dollar Tree wood glue to attach this to the back of my larger frame. And then I will clamp this down for a little while and let it dry. I only had two clamps, so I ended up just putting some paint on the other corners. But once it was dry, I'm flipping this over and I'm using the color Burnt Umber from Apple Barrel to paint this entire thing. This is going to be the under color. I'm going to be doing the crackle method. So I also painted that smaller frame the same color of that Burnt Umber. Now, once that was dry, I'm going back in with some regular white school glue and I'm gonna put this all over this larger frame. Now, I did it a lot heavier on that backing wood piece and for the frame itself i went a little lighter with the glue the more glue you have the more crackle you're gonna get i let that dry for a few minutes and then i'm going back in with some of my white chalk paint and i will paint this entire thing I decided not to do the crackle effect on the smaller frame. I'm actually just kind of dry brushing my white chalk paint over top of this one and just letting some of that brown peek through. And this is how they turned out once they were dry. Now, every layered frame I've ever seen done, they typically would glue the frame to the larger one now, but like I said, I love to change out my decor and I don't want this to be permanent. So I'm just using some of these Velcro picture hangers and I'm gonna attach it to the backside of my smaller frame. Then I will add the other Velcro to the top of this, remove the backing and just attach that to my larger frame so that I can pull this off and change out the art whenever I feel like it. For this next project, I wanted to make another interchangeable art frame, this time in a larger size. So I grabbed this wood 8x10 frame from my thrift store, and then I grabbed an 8x10 canvas from Dollar Tree, took that canvas all apart, and I also took apart the frame. Now I'm using the bottom piece, the side pieces of that canvas frame, and then I had to cut a small little piece from the top part of that canvas canvas to make this fit the backside of my 8x10 frame. Now you want this to go right on the edge of that inner frame so that your pictures fit nicely down in there. So once I had it arranged on the back of my frame where I needed these pieces to go, I'm using some Dollar Tree wood glue and just gluing these down to the backside of my frame. I'm again gonna be using that basswood that I got from Amazon to make the backing of this frame as well. But for this one, I did have to cut it down a little bit to make it fit. These are very easy to cut down. I actually just used a razor blade to score it and then popped off that excess that I didn't need. But as you can see, I used more of that wood glue to attach this to the backside of the canvas frame pieces. Now I did decide 
decide to dress this frame up a little bit so I'm just using some of my Amazon molds and some hot glue and making four little corner piece molds and then one little mold to go across the center middle. And once that glue has completely dried, then I'll just pop these out of my molds and use a little more hot glue to attach these to my frame. And then I decided to paint this frame with some of my white chalk paints. So I ended up doing, I think, two coats of this. And just on the outside of the frame, I didn't worry about covering the backing. Now, since this is going to be a great place to also store a lot of my art prints, I went ahead and took this opportunity to fix up all of my art prints so that when they have a home, I can easily just change them out. Now, I attached all of my art prints to some thin cardboard. I actually just used cereal boxes to attach them to to make them more substantial and so they won't bend or move around as much. And then of course I had to do the Mod Podge trick to make them look like paintings. I spread some Mod Podge over top of these and then I'm using my paintbrush just dabbing into that Mod Podge to give it that texture. And finally, for this frame, I used some of my European Gold Rub and Buff and went over all those little details and a little bit over the frame to distress it. And now not only do I have a frame to display and store all of my art pieces so I know exactly where they are, but also I can easily change them out whenever I feel like it. For this next project, I wanted to make a thermostat cover, so I picked up this three and a half by five frame. Now you'll need to measure your thermostat for this project if you want to make one and determine what size frame you will need. But I also picked up two of Dollar Tree's chunky wood pieces and I've cut those down to make a little box to fit around my thermostat. Now my thermostat has switches on the bottom that I didn't want to cover up with a bottom piece for my box. So I'm actually going to be doing that bottom piece for the box onto the frame and you'll see how I do that later. But if you don't have the switches on the bottom, you can obviously just make a basic frame. Now as you can see, I went ahead and wood glued those three pieces together to make that semi box and then you can see the fourth piece down at the bottom which I did not glue because like I said that is going to be glued onto the frame so that I don't cover my switches but I did end up painting everything with my white chalk paint including the picture frame. Now, once everything was dry, I'm using some of these small hinges that I got from Amazon. Again, everything I'm using in today's video, if linkable, will be down in the description box below on my Amazon storefront. But I attached these two small hinges to the wood pieces and then I attached it to the frame. Then for that last piece, I'm just lining it up with the rest of the wood box and I'm going to use some more wood glue to attach this to my frame frame but I'm making sure that none of that wood glue actually touches the other parts. And that was it for this thermostat cover. All I had to do was attach some command strips to the back of this and place it over my thermostat. For this final project, I wanted to make a little bit of hidden storage. So I'm using this 8x10 frame from my thrift store. And then I'm also going to be using some of Dollar Tree's chunky wood pieces for this project as well. You can see I have two of the 12 inch pieces and then I cut down three smaller pieces and I cut these down to about seven or eight inches to fit my frame. You'll definitely need to cut those to fit whatever 
whatever frame you're using, but I did go ahead and paint everything white with my chalk paint, including those wood pieces. And once everything was dry, I'm going to go ahead and use some Dollar Tree wood glue to make my little box. You can see here, once I have the box done, then I will fit in that third smaller piece to make a shelf. So this will actually have two shelves in it. If you do a larger frame, you could definitely do more shelves. But I also did put some screws in those wood pieces just to make sure they were nice and secure. Then to put this all together, I'm using my Amazon small hinges and I used two on this, attached it to my frame and then I attached it to the wood piece and I did do these hinges as hidden hinges, which is a little more difficult, but you won't be able to see them. Now I also wanted to make sure that this would not just come open. So I'm just using some of the self-adhesive Velcro tabs from Dollar Tree and I'll place that right in the center so that I can attach this to the frame and the little shelving. And finally for this project I used some of my European Gold Rub and Buff to distress my frame and the shelving piece and then all I have to do is add in some beautiful artwork and I added this by my front door to hold our sunglasses and things like that and it will be nice and hidden.